hear me? Am I being heard? Let's find out. Hmm, so I'll have to speak a little louder then. Alrighty. Anyway, welcome to my second live stream. This is not what I was expecting to be doing, but I want to experiment a little with the content that I make in the interim between now and whenever I get around to finishing the Wild Rider video. And in fact, I might get an, at a decidedly I get another decidedly different. Uh, custom showcase video out before the Wild Rider video. Might have to completely redo the Wild Rider video altogether. Or most of it. Uh, but we're going to be so doing something. We're also going to be doing something uh, that I haven't done before on uh, this channel. We're going to be talking about Bakugan. Now I've recorded. I have recorded. Uh, audio and video for a few Bakugan videos in the past, but wasn't really satisfied with the format that I'd chosen, so those are shelved and will likely never get completed. In the meantime, I should... But, uh, this format, I think, will work a little better. Um, as you should be able to tell from the thumbnail and the title, we are going to be looking at the new Elemental Bakugan from uh, Bakugan Geogon Rising. Now, these things, um, hadn't seen them on the stores, well, I hadn't seen them on store shelves um, until about a couple of weeks ago, as is usually the case for the rarer stuff like this. Uh, First found out about them on the uh, little collector sheets that you get with uh, your Ultra Bakugan. By the way, well, now that I think about it, this might have come with... Yeah, this, yeah, this one actually came with one of the Geogon that the current subline is named after. Um, and as you can see, there's a new uh, type of rare Bakugan. I will get that right up close to the camera. These are called elem. These are called elementals, um, and apparently they're supposed to be rarer than diamond bakugan. And iron, ironically, I have, I, ironically, I've come across, um, like the the only diamonds from Geocon Rising that I've come across, uh, is diamond Slugler. and uh. I have found two different of the elemental Bakugan before any of the diamond ultras or cores, um, which is it's, which is actually pretty disappointing because I really really want a diamond Fenica. <laughs> anyway, um, so these things these are actually differentiated by a gold as you can see by a gold band. Um, the packaging design, which is actually pretty neat, and uh, attribute symbol. The attribute symbol, and yes, I'm calling them. At I'm still gonna call them attributes. I'm not calling them factions. Uh, but the attribute symbol on these. Uh, well, dang. Attribute symbols on these have a, on the packaging at least, has a nice uh, fade effect with another color. And as clear, ba as Diamond Bakugan are to the clear Bakugan from the original Bakugan, uh, these elementals appear to be analogous to Translucent Bakugan, which were another special treatment. As I recall, Translucent Bakugan could... As I recall, Translucent Bakugan could uh, keep their own attribute or take on the attribute of, I believe it was the... Posing Bakugan or the highlighted bonus. I'm 
I don't recall off the top of my head because I don't. I unfortunately only own one translucent Bakugan and from the from the original, and I only got it years after the original series ended. And real and really, I only have it. It's disappointing. What's really disappointing was I bought that one specifically because it was a Helix Dragonoid, which included. Was it Helix? Yes, it was a Helix Dragonoid, which would include a Jet Core, and the Jet Core broke in transit. So I'm still without a properly functioning Jet Core. Anyway. I think this might. Uh, I can't really bring this mic in any closer, can I? Uh, this is... I'd say this is acceptable. Anyway, uh... Yeah, um... Alright, so this Dragonoid, I, this Dragonoid I got at Walmart. Um, if the damage on the card didn't already give that away... Yeah, Walmart really, really does not give a crap. Especially around my area, because uh, toy, the toy shelves in the toy shelves in the Targets and Walmarts around me aren't always stocked up with the newest releases. Uh, Shark Tar, I, the Targets are better about it. Uh, Shark Tar I got at the Target uh, in Grapevine. Uh, so yeah, I now get to show you uh, a element. I now get to show you an elemental core and an elemental ultra, and I'm also going to be comparing them to their original, to the uh, standard versions. Right, and I will be doing that with this alternative camera. All right, let me get this out of frame. So yes, I've set up a half hide matrix here. Right, I'll do right. Just use this little. Oh. Yeah, it should be fine. No, it wasn't. As you, as you can tell, I'm very, very good at this. And, well, at least it opened. Anyway, this is the uh, standard version of... This is the standard Pyrus version of Dragonoid Ultra from Geogon Rising. Um, it's, this is actually a very... I would say that this is a very, uh, very good mold, and... Uh, it's like one of the mo probably one of the most show accurate, to probably one of the most uh, monster form accurate uh, toy versions of a Bakugan that there is, uh, and even by the standards of the Bakugan reboot, which the design philosophy is decidedly different. the the, the design The design philosophy of the Bakugan reboot is uh, in many ways very different from uh, the original. I don't have, I unfortunately do not have a regular Aqua Shakhtar to show off, but I do have the Pyrus version. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it, it's a shark. And I think people, people have been asking for a, uh, shark-based Bakugan for many, many years, and, uh, I'd say that this is a pretty, pretty good one. Um... Anyway, so we'll go ahead and we will go ahead and get these open. If I can actually find the knife, there's my knife. All right, let's go ahead and get these open and start some comparison, shall we? All right, first I'm going to do drag. First I'm going to do Dragonoid Ultra. Right. Just slide that in there. Make the incision. All right. All right. I'm not gonna be worried about damaging the card because I just throw them. All. I just throw the cards away. And besides, this one is already damaged because of Walmart's incompetence. All right. Let's get this little goodie bag open. 
Right. Ah, there we go. All right. All right. Baka cards that are included, we get a green fist and a red fist. Right. Our green fist has uh, minus three damage. Right. Which is pretty good trap. All right. Oh, and um, the red fist is in minus four damage. Uh, so that's that's pretty interesting. I don't think I've ever had. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any Dragonoids come with that combination of uh, Baku cores before. Um, yeah, it's a it's a pretty interesting pretty interesting turn of events. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and snip our Dragonoid out of there, and just single tie. This pops on right out. And dang. you know, I would say that looks pretty good, and I'm now getting a better look at the painted details on here. Ah, oh, hello, what is this? Okay, that is interesting. All right, so we have a so we have, so the claws and horns are painted a little up a little more metallic here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and close this to show off uh, what makes this an el truly makes this an, an elemental. Uh, I guess the attribute symbol is also in gold. Probably doesn't show up the best on my webcam here, but it serves. Uh, but yeah, there is some very, very nice printing on here of just fire. Oh man, that is that is cool. Oh man, ah. Uh, so yeah, um, man, it's a very it's a very interesting it's a very neat uh, variant of the regular of the toy. But let's see how that plays into the uh into the game into the actual game. And I'm gonna go ahead and compare this with. Oh, wow, is that ever lame. Um, <laughs> okay then. Um, so I'm going to hold these up to show you all what's, what's going on here. All right. And so, um, element, so yeah, elemental doesn't, does not appear to actually play into the game so far um the most that you get is just more interesting card art oh they, they expand the card art and make it bleed off of the uh normal boundaries and i mean it is a very very cool looking variant of the car of the actual character card um but yeah not not really much of a uh, difference when it comes to gameplay. Um, so it seems that these are would just with a very, very good quality of the print with very good quality of the printing here. You, uh, I think it's just really only going to be useful for a display piece. I would not recommend you trying to use this as a game piece. Um, in fact, this is probably going to be one of those things that people are just going to leave um, on their car. Uh, mint on sealed card to try and see if the value goes up over time. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and switch to the other camera. I'll show you a comparison of uh, the Bakugan to each other. All right. And wow. These, act these do seriously look very, very cool. So yeah, if you just like to display, so yeah, if you just have a collection of Bakugan that you display, this would be a very, very interesting uh, conversation piece. Uh, but if you want to actually use this as a game, I'd suggest that you just 
uh, track down the standard uh, Pyrus Ult Dragonoid Ultra, um, which was you'll still ver you're still very likely to find the first wave of Bakugan product on store shelves. Um, and I definitely would recommend car uh, card sleeves for these due to the very very just. That is astounding. That's astounding. And I just dropped that. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and set that aside. Um, as per... As is usual with your... Um, other Bakugan Ultras, you get... Gate card, which... Uh, the gate cards come with Bakugan as... With all Bakugan as standard now. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really... A t I'm not too big a fan of... The way they hand... I'm, I'm actually kind of divided on the way they handle gate cards in uh, the reboot. Uh, it's good that they brought them back. Um, but yeah, their implementation into the game was pretty lackluster. And I really I really only think they should come with Core Bakugan because like, they're kind of useless with the Ultras. Because they're, kind of, they're incompatible with the Ultras. L largely incompatible with Ultras due to how they work. Um, but yeah, if you want to, if you want to see a good, if you want a better explanation of how gate cards work in the Bakugan reboot, I would suggest you go ahead, go over to Jet Kuso's channel. Um, he's done a very, uh, good video on, um, the way gate cards work in the reboot, as well as a, uh, fan, ver as well as a specialized, uh, fan-made version of the game, which... Uh, works so much better with these than the way Spin Master did it. Uh, anyway, you all, we've also got an ability card, but unfortunately it is nothing special. We don't get any evolutions. Um, it's, uh, it's Searing Strike, which is a pretty common Pyrus card um, as far as the reboot goes. Um, I think I've got like... It's pretty... It's a pretty common card in Geogun Rising. I think I've got like five of them now. Um, which isn't to say it's a bad card at all. It's, it's, uh, for two energy, you get an additional 400 B power. That's uh, that's pretty good. I would say. Um, and being an Ultra, you do also get the uh, instruction sheet for folding it up. Uh, with the uh, collection sheet on the other side. And this uh, doesn't appear to be different from the other uh, collection sheet I just showed you that came with the uh, came with the Geo God I mentioned. Um, act, hold on. Okay, then this is actually a uh, large. This is actually. Um, larger than the uh, one that comes with the Ultra Bakugan by a, I would say a good couple of square millimeters. Um, that, is inter that is interesting. Um, and I don't really understand why because the version that comes with the Geogon doesn't come with instructions. Because uh, Because I mean, like Ge Geogon are just, like less, even less advanced than the uh, than the core Bakugan. Because on, um, because they don't even have to roll. They just you just put them down and they do their thing. Anyway, I'm gonna put our sh Pyro Shark Hero off to the side. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and break into Aqua's core Shark Tar. All right, uh. It's pro it's probably gonna be more of this it's gonna be more of the same. Uh probably even less considering that uh this is a core uh rather than an ultra. But I'm going to do it anyway because this is my live stream and I can do what I want. Also I need to pad for time. Anyway, let's go ahead and take all that out. Hey, right, now my Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this back in for a second because I really, really, I really like how they have 
uh, done the packaging for these cores. Um, so, as you can see, they are, as you likely already saw, they're already in their sphere mode, and... I know there's... Oh, that... That just works. It just works. I, I don't think I've seen... Uh, that be done... Um, with any single-packed Bakugan at all in the reboot. Um, and I think it's a very good way of going about it. Uh, you don't have to create a specialized tray to hold all, all, all those different Bakugan. You can just make one and have it fit the standard 3mm size. No, no, millimeter. No, those things aren't 3 millimeters. They're 3 centimeters in diameter. Of course... Oh, of course, all those centimeter, kilometer, all those measurements are completely meaningless because the metric system. I, I'm, I'm not going to bash the metric system. I'll let other people do that. Uh, anyway, um, what, one thing I can say that I am not a fan, I'm not a fan of. Um, well, we did it. Say not a fan. It's, what I should have said is that it's, yeah, as you, you can tell that this isn't scripted, can you? Anyway, uh, this is interesting. Uh, the cores are packaged in their own, uh, little pack, which has, which I've also never seen on any Bakugan before, in any Bakugan packaging before, uh, at least in this manner. All right. Yeah. Just snip that open so I can get these out and show you what we got in here. There we go. Anyway, we got a shield and a green fist. Uh, the shield uh, grants plus 400 B power to Aquas and Pyrus. Uh, Green Fist get, uh, grants up. Well, plus 100 B, adds 100 B power, and if you are using a Ventus or Darkest Bakugan, you get an additional three damage. Um, I always find it interesting when Bakugan include cores that don't, that have something that uh, doesn't posit, when they have an attribute specific um, bonus that doesn't strict that doesn't affect their own attribute, or it affects their own attribute negatively. I that's very in, that's very interesting. Um. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this card. Oh, I think yeah, I just jostled ah, another camera there. Anyway. Uh, it's also very, very good card art. Again, I can't compare this to the regular Aquas Shark Tar because I don't have it. Um, but this version does come with 500 B power, 6 damage, and if you're the victor, you get to draw a card. Um, so I'd say that's pretty, pretty neat. And it might be an effective one to use in the game. All right. So we'll go back to our other camera. And yeah, I can definitely tell that uh, it has shifted slightly because of my ineptitude. Right. Yeah, my, hey, I almost forgot to go ahead and show off the lovely, lovely printing on that. That's beautiful. Yeah, I can definitely, I can definitely see where the name, where they decided to call it, where the name Elementals came from. Anyway, let me get, let me adjust the cores over some. In fact, actually, we're gonna, in fact, we're gonna use these gate cards here. Right, might as well use them for something. Right, and there we go. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, that's that's a translucent shark char right there. All right, I'll go ahead and pop the pop the standard pyrus one on. Uh, interesting that the that the uh, the orange detailing uh, stays consistent on the fins. Uh, Of course, it is, it is it is darker on the uh, on the elemental aquas, uh, likely due to both not applying as many coats and uh, well, this this one appears to be using a slightly metallic finish, at least on the tail. My camera, my the cameras that I have don't really do this justice, do they? Ah. Uh. But yeah, that's a look at these new Elemental Bakugan. They are pretty to look at, but they aren't really worth much of an investment if you're an avid player of the game. Uh, so I would recommend... So if you want to get them, I'd recommend them more as display pieces than anything. Uh, pro uh, over time, rolling your Bakugan is going to uh, eat away at the... Uh, painted detail uh, and you'll find a lot of Bakugan from the original series that don't uh, have all their painted detailing in place um, and that's one reason a lot of people don't like to open their uh, diamond Bakugan toys and use them in uh, the game and really, you don't have to, because diamonds are just an evolution, and the diamond evolution cards come in the booster packs. Uh, these elementals do even less than diamonds. Uh, they don't affect the they don't affect the gameplay at all. They're just they're just prettier looking variants of the originals. So yeah, they're nice collection pieces, but I wouldn't recommend. But not good. I wouldn't recommend them in the game. Oh, that was a bit of a shorter live stream than I expected. Although I'm not sure what I expected. And, well, this is interesting. Shark Tar does not appear to want to close properly. Okay, okay, there we go. Now he's closed properly. Right. Well then. Anyway, um, I got more. Po I have more content coming down the pipeline for y'all. But until next time, I am Keeper of Toast, and I will see y'all later.